What Vision Coach does, it allows the therapist to um, individualize each program for the specific needs of the patient. So we're able to um, really tailor our uh, treatment sessions to fit the needs of uh, our clients. Vision Coach is useful within the field of transportation research because it gives us information on how our drivers scan their visual environment. Is it somebody who's looking primarily straight in front of them or are they successful at being able to look to the left, to the right, up and down and really have a good feel of their entire visual environment? Vision Coach is a dynamic, state-of-the-art, interactive system designed to promote and enhance visual function, muscular coordination, and neuromuscular abilities. The wall-mounted counterweight slider allows the Vision Coach to be positioned with little effort to accommodate a patient of any height. The person who's training on the Vision Coach stands or sits in front of the board and reacts to the lights as they appear in a random series by pressing the light as quickly as it is seen. There are no visual cues which allow the therapist to obtain a true picture of their patient's abilities. And with each depression, there is a tactile, auditory, and visual feedback. Training opportunities are endless with Vision Coach as it provides the ability to integrate 11 distinctive visual fields, 12 different speed settings, a fixator light, letters and numbers, red lights, green lights, or a combination of red and green lights. Vision Coach is utilized in therapy throughout the continuum of care to treat various diagnoses and disabilities, such as central and peripheral awareness. Other tools can be added to the training to help improve balance and coordination. Red-blue goggles can be used for binocularity assessment and enhancement. Therapists are able to track a patient's progress with assessment charts which are immediately available. Working with Vision Coach has proven to improve upper body range of motion, eye, hand, body coordination, visual motor integration, gross and fine motor skills, field loss deficit, and with its large horizontal display, visual scanning and tracking, visual attention and reaction time, and divided attention and cognitive learning. All of this means a huge life change for many patients like Travis Vaughn. Travis came to see us in occupational therapy and um, he had diagnosis of cerebral palsy. And uh, his goal initially was to uh, do a driving evaluation. When I got married um, and started having kids and my wife, God bless her soul, um, can only do so much for transportation for all of us. So eventually I decided I had to do something to help. So I began to explore uh, the possibility of driving and that's when I was introduced to the Vision Coach. Remember what we talked about for this hand control, it's a little different than the last one that we've been using. Very good. Tighten up your turn a little bit. There we go. My therapist and I both believe that Vision Coach will help a lead to a driver's license. I've always loved playing tennis, never been very, very good at it. Um, but uh, since I've started doing the Vision Coach, my uh, tennis instructor has actually begun to explore different wheelchair tennis tournaments for me to compete in because I've actually gotten that much better. Travis was an avid video game player, and he always said that he would tire out, his eyes would start hurting, he'd get headaches, and now he's able to play video games. There have been a lot of radical changes. My reading has gotten better. I don't get tired as much when I read. I really strongly feel that the vision coach has allowed him to uh, build his uh, visual strength and his ability to scan well and to be able to do the things he likes to do. Our role with vision coach is to collect normative data. So when a patient comes into a clinic, they always ask how they do in comparison to other people their age. And therefore, we are collecting data both within the university, so we have data from healthy, younger adults, college students. We also go into the community and go to senior centers, and that way we can have older individuals also complete the task using the vision coach, so we have data for both younger and older adults to give the therapists to have as normative data for their patients. Physically, the vision coach offers a solid black, matte, non-glare surface and doesn't require ambient lighting for use. 
It may be used in a fully lit or a dark room. The flat surface allows for quick and easy sanitation after each use with cavicide wipes. Corners are rounded for safety. The Vision Coach is easily programmed from the face of the display. It requires no external connections to run. Microprocessors, software, and 120 embedded LEDs are contained within. A USB port offers the ability for data collection, printouts, and to upload new programs, adding to its ease of use. Vision Coach has a wide variety of applications. While we're using it in a research context and Roger C. Peace is using it in a clinical setting, there's also a lot of athletes are using it for a variety of different sports. We've used it with our crew team and we've just finished a study where we used it with a NASCAR team. The relationship between uh, Roger C. Peace and ICAR um, has grown over the years and we've been able to work on many different projects together and having Vision Coach come in to the mix with us has really allowed us to um, grow different protocols in the clinic that we are able to now use and uh, hopefully be able to share that with other clinicians to be able to use the Vision Coach in their clinics. My favorite thing about the Vision Coach is that it's fun. It's fun for our rehab patients, our community volunteers, the professional athletes that we've worked with, and if we can do anything to make the rehab process enjoyable for patients, it's going to be a home run. Perceptual Testing Incorporated, manufacturer of the Vision Coach, is certified with the FDA as a good manufacturing practice. Vision Coach is registered with the FDA as a Class 1 medical device, 510K exempt, and meets EMC limits for a medical device directive.